Thank you to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company that makes eating well very easy with plans that work with really any lifestyle. They have options for keto, paleo, vegan, gluten-free, vegetarian, fast and fit, and Mediterranean. Green Chef makes cooking easy with step-by-step -step instructions, chef tips, and photos to guide you as you follow recipes. Ingredients come pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and mostly prepped. Green Chef also saves you time by helping with meal planning, grocery shopping, and most of the prep week after week. So you don't have, y'all already know if you know, been watching the vlogs for a little bit. Not only was I completely in love with HelloFresh, we used it for years, but also Green Chef. And they're kind of like sister companies. They're under the same umbrella. And so I've never had a bad experience. I absolutely adore these brands. They have made cooking so much more interesting and fun because I'm not someone that steps out of my comfort zone. And I think it's so cool how they give you so many different kinds of meals. And they're definitely ones that I would never think to look up. They are, for me, like I said, I'm a very bland eater, so they're more on the adventurous side, which now I'm kind of in love with, and I just want to always eat that way. So, you know, obviously I'm going to be a subscriber to this service so that I can keep getting all these cool meals. And if you would like to do the same, you can use Olivia Reads a Latte 60 to get 60% off of your first box plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com for more details. Make sure you grab my link down below and I will give you the code as well down there for you. And let me know if you do sign up and what recipes you get. Maybe we'll be matching instead of buddy reading or buddy mealing. Okay, I could have said cooking, I guess. Anyways, thank you so much to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. She knew your new angles, but same basic bit. So hi guys, welcome back to the weekly reading vlog. So this week, what's going on? Uh, I'm genuinely asking you because I don't know. <laughs> I am in my escape mood because be didn't have the best day yesterday, got, got some news and then also mental health. She's a tricky biatch, I'll tell you what. So it is 8 49 this morning i've already met my goal of getting up at at least 7 a.m which i know i'm actually building back up to get up at 5 a.m again but i have to be realistic with myself because i you know epilepsy related have to get enough sleep and that includes like training myself to go back to sleep at an earlier time which is also difficult to do so i'm trying to get out of that habit we'll see but i woke up this morning did my skincare routine have my sunscreen on i'm trying not to wear as much makeup as well i don't know if you can tell i mean you probably can probably like Hello, Olivia. I'm trying not to wear as much makeup as well because I just, I don't know. I don't really feel like wearing a bunch of makeup. It's also not great for my skin. I definitely break out super easy with it. And, oh, what is this? Not a reading update. Okay, let me shut up and start talking about my books. So I, like I said, am feeling the escape fantasy this week. So while I am chug a lug in this water and walking which did i decide to get my own little walking setup for my office yes um no i will not be taking questions this time but i got one of those things that converts your desk into a raising desk because my partner has the one that i got from flexi spot my desk i really like this desk that i have it's a wood one from world market and i got this thing where you put it on top and it turns it into a standing desk because you can like sit it down and then your head is still looking up while you're working or you can raise it up and then stand and then i, I might, might not have got a walking pad i don't know i can't i can neither confirm nor deny so yeah i'm very excited about those things they're coming this week so i'll definitely show you the setup well they're coming at least by the 5th to the 10th that's like the range for the alleged walking pad i don't know if that's even <laughs> don't know if i even bought that um, anyways, so while I wait for those things, because I, if there's one thing that helps my anxiety, it's walking like a hamster on the wheel on a treadmill. I don't know why, it does. So I woke up this morning, like I said, did all that stuff. I got dressed. I'm going to go to therapy in my workout outfit, which may not seem like a big deal. I honestly, before like 2022, I do not recall wearing shorts out in public because yeah, if you know, you are, you are knowledgeable <laughs> about it. So I'm wearing some yoga, well I call them my princess dye shorts, but they're basically running shorts that just like are above the knee. They're from Fabletics, so they are like compression shorts, but they're great for working out. I really like them, so I'm wearing that, so that's a moment. And then while I'm waiting, 
I'm actually editing last week's video, and then I'm going to continue on reading Finlay Donovan Jumps the Gun. This is the third book, and y'all, I can already tell I'm loving it because I genuinely, truly love cozy mysteries. I feel like if you are not, not let you're not well versed in the genre, like you don't have to read a ton of cozy mysteries, although it does help put it into like perspective of where this falls on that kind of like spectrum of cozy mysteries of like super outlandish magical mythical to like average joe everyday kind of thing this is like a, a, this is a very like normal cozy mystery like having the mafia involved is not a big deal at all and i think a lot of people i've seen at least critique that they think it's unbelievable or outlandish and all these things and i'm like every cozy mystery i've ever read has been even crazier so i don't i don't know i think it's really good i think it's really fun i think it is starting more and more as we get into the series leaning heavier heavier and heavier into the cozy mystery stereotype of the genre which is what I love like that's why I read it so I am completing the trifecta of living laughing and loving and wouldn't have it any other way I do however think that some people may not enjoy this route as much. And I think if you don't know how cozies are, it, I could see it going that way. If you think about it, a cozy is basically about an average Joe who solves crimes. And this one is just the average Joe that like creates the crimes <laughs> instead and then gets out of them last minute. And it's really fun. I don't know, I'm a Finlay Donovan defender. Um, I found out that the author, I misspoke last week. I thought it was this month that it was coming out. It's not, it's in February. February, she's gonna be signing in Dallas on a Saturday and I'm like do I dare it makes me nervous because humans maybe I should like tell this old this old bat to shut up and then I should just go I don't know we'll see what happens so that's my Kindle book then the audiobook I'm listening to is Chain of Gold I really want to get this finished hopefully within the next couple days so that I can actually start Chain of Iron for the first time and then be ready for the next book coming out at the end of this month Chain of Thorns I am let me see this one I have from my library because I'm a big fan oh not TikTok get out of here I am 26% of the way through and I'm also gonna start filming a what is that thing called that I did swapping my screen time for reading time I'm learning how to choose the right audio apps for you which one don't first of all don't ever recommend Apple music to me second of all don't speak so my screen time has gone back up Ooh, she is incredibly depressed okay um we're talking like 10 to 11 hours and that's not cute that's not fun that's not fresh a lot of it is YouTube which is fine but the six hours on TikTok isn't. So I'm starting to film that video today. So I don't know how long I'm going to do that video if I want to do it for a week or if I want to do it for two weeks because I got a lot of reading done. And I feel like a lot of y'all really liked it. So I'll link the one that I did the first time, but just know another one is coming. And then I'm also going to be doing like a reading routine series on here, which is why I asked you guys about this on Instagram. So just a couple sneak little peekies of some vlogs that I'm doing. I've realized I'm not good at the like themed vlogs, but I really like the, I don't know, the reading routine, reading challenge ones, I guess. So if you have any that you have in mind that you've seen anyone else do and you want me to try, let me know and I'll do it. Or if you've just made one up, let me know because that's also good. And then lastly, the physical book that I'm reading is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. And I'm on chapter seven, loving it. I love Stephanie Garber. She can do no wrong on my eyes. So that's where we are at. So now we've done 10 minutes of updating the vlog. I need to start that other one that I mentioned and then we're gonna get to editing. Actually, I think I'll start that other one that I mentioned after editing so that I can fully be prepared and ready for it. So let's get to work, 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 work. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Um, let me get, sorry, let me just sneak behind you. Get my little Pokedex for all of my SD cards. I decided last night to actually read Finley Donovan Jumps the Gun on my Kindle, and I got to 52%, and this book is so good. It's so good. It is leaning so heavily into the, like, kind of outlandish, crazy, cozy mystery stereotypes, and I love it so much. I think that it's doing it really well, and it's so funny, and I just love it. But if I could just 
get rid of Steven. Everything would be right in the world, alas. So today I have to do filming. I'm gonna film, let me see, let me see, because you're on my planner right now, actually. So I'll have to look at my spreadsheet on my phone and see what it is that I'm filming. So I have to film my January reset. <sighs> I guess my November, December wrap up. I hate wrap ups. Do y'all even like wrap ups? Let me know. And my book of the month and then a green chef thingy thing. But also, I think I'm gonna put on Instagram if y'all even like wrap ups, because if not, then I'm just gonna film a book call instead. And I need to film my best books of 2022. So that's four, four things, four videos, three ad reads. Cute. Definitely doable, definitely, definitely doable. I just, I'm debating if I even wanna wear makeup because honestly, I know that this is like, my chin always has this. This looks so much better than it did like a week ago because I just haven't been wearing makeup and I've been washing my face and everything. And so I'm kind of debating just not wearing makeup or maybe wearing just my moisturizer, my sunscreen, maybe some concealer if I like need it in certain places like here. And then what is this called? Oh, eyelashes, mascara perhaps. I don't know. Depends on if you want to say the right thing. Who knows about that? So anyways, uh, right now though, I can't really film anything because my office does not get good sunlight until at least noon. So I have to wait. I have about four hours and I'm probably gonna read while I am waiting. Just wanna give you a little update. What we really need to discuss, Potomac. Let's talk about Potomac. What do y'all think about Deborah? I don't even know where that storyline is attempting to go. You can just see Giselle though, attempting to grab onto it because she don't have her own. And <laughs> she's like, please. Please, let's create more mess. I need it. And I'm like, contribute anything at all. But she's so beautiful, isn't she? But still, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you thought about Potomac's episode. I think it was better than the last few, for sure. I saw that Sharice is coming back, and I'm like, but it's like, it looks like a boss battle between her and Karen, so love Karen. And then we have Salt Lake City tomorrow, which I don't even think I care, to be honest with you, because this season sucks. Like, the first two were so good, and I don't know, I think it's because a certain cast member is not there, but that's all I'll say. I wasn't even a fan. I don't even, I don't think I even like any of them. I like, like, I like Candy, and I like... Karen. I did like Robin. I don't like Robin anymore. Anyways, thank you for coming to Real Housewives Talk with me. I'm your host, but I'm gonna go read now because I need to be like productive and talking about Real Housewives and my thoughts and feelings is not really that. So I'm gonna drink this coffee, read these books, and tell you all about them. Ooh, this is kind of like a little ambiance -y. okay, moment. Um, anyways, I just wanted to get on here and show you that I finished it. I, my January reset and I filmed my book haul. So I cleaned all the books up off the ground. It's now, they're now all on the shelves. The only thing I'm debating is wrap ups. So I posted my Instagram video about it of saying like, do, do we need them? <laughs> do I have to? Because if like a lot of y'all love them, that's one thing. But if we all don't care collectively as a unit, as a little nation, if you will, then I, I certainly will be so overjoyed <laughs> not having to film it. Because the problem is, I think with, let's say, my January TBR, I'm gonna be excited to film the wrap up. Like, I'm going to want, I'm already, with Finlay Donovan, I'm already excited to talk about it. So I want to do that one. But with these, it's November and December of 2022 books. And honestly, my whole year of 2022 was not really memorable, save for the books that I read that are coming out in 2023, which I am still gonna do the best books of video, but I don't know. I probably should film that one right now, honestly. And maybe I'll put that up on Sunday, but we'll see. We'll see what y'all say right now. Okay. Okay, so, oh, it's dark, but that's fine. I just finished a little workout thingy. Bless you! Um, by Grow With Joe, I think. I'll link it down below. And, um, it, kicked my butt <laughs> so i'm gonna shower and then we're gonna be back with this and i am this much in now which i guess just trust me because i don't know if it's focusing or if my eyes aren't focusing could be both but i'm liking it because we just traveled to a new land and Jax is back so it's gonna be good hi y'all so just got some not good news at all so naturally i bought books and pizza and i got a pr package so instead of that we're gonna just like talk about all the things 
that are hair and fun things and yeah that's it so let me show you it's from liquid iv so it's like really cool so they sent me this pr box and it's basically mocktails which is so cool so it's like a cucumber mojito and then a mezcal paloma <laughs> i'm like i don't know if i know how to say things i think that glass is really cool by the way but you just open it and then it's Look, there's even like a shaker, which is cool. I mean, I'll use this for like my shake and espressos, but that's so cool. And then it's like the actual stuff. So I'm definitely going to try one of these with dinner. And then this. And then down here, there's like dice and little, what are those called? Mm, coasters. I don't know what this is, but it's there too. But I just thought this was so cool. Then here are the books that I got. I picked up. Because these are all ones that came out this week, and I all really wanted to read all of them. So I think we're going to switch to a thriller and read these two. Um, because I don't really feel the fantasy vibe right now, to be honest with you. Yeah, I also got a pizza. So I'm going to eat that for lunch. Half of it for lunch, then half of it for dinner. But that's the plan. But for real, look at this pizza. Isn't that beautiful? It really is. Don't look at the Chipotle cup. <laughs> it's so pretty. Hello everyone. First things first, I got my book troop merch to support my girl Gabby. Um, it's so cute. I'm pretty sure Rachel, her sister, designed it because it looks just like her lettering. I'm gonna assume so. That girl's so talented, it's rude, honestly. Anyways, I am about to do a try a chapter and since I'm also currently filming that switching screen time for reading time video, I'm just doing more in-depth talking about the books in this. So that's surface level, like the focus of that video is just how much I can read, not particularly what I'm reading. And then in the weekly vlogs, I'll do what I'm reading, if that makes sense. So there's that. Um, the two thrillers I'm looking at because, oh, I gotta freaking tell you, I finished Finley Donovan Jumps the Gun. I'm gonna give this four and a half stars. It was still such a fun time. I think that I mainly just didn't like the setting, to be honest. I just kind of thought the setting was boring. It was good for the book because in this one, Vero and Finlay go to a police academy for like a civilian's training kind of thing so that they can just like see what cops do, I guess. I don't know, snooze. And so it was kind of cool because it's, it did set up like a good amount of mystery of like who is easy clean, what is going on, like we, we don't know. There was just something about the setting that I... I just kind of prefer this chaos to take place in like an everyday life. Like I want her to have a run-in with the Russian mob in Target. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's weird. But I still thought it was really fun. I'm very excited for it to come out later this month so that I can see everybody reading it and reacting to it. And yeah, I liked it. It was a good time. Um, I definitely think, like I said earlier, this book series is leaning more and more heavily into the cozy mystery genre as a whole, which is kind of like the over the top, this would literally never happen. What are you talking about, super sleuth? I'm into it though. I'm very much into it. And I also will say, I like the character of Charlie, who is Nick's like ex-partner in his job. I really like Charlie's character. I don't necessarily like what he does and all that, but which you'll see in this book, but I do like him as a character because I think he's going to help bridge some of the problems people bring up when they're like, she's doing these things, these things are happening, when, when do they get caught? And all I'll say is, <laughs> I don't know, I've read the Misfortune series by Jana DeLeon, which is my, probably my favorite cozy just because it's set in Louisiana, it's got all the Southern vibes, it's got two old ladies helping, ex-CIA ladies, not CIA. Well, I think they were like field agents, but like they were undercover. They were really intense in the military. Let's just say, I don't know, something. They're doing something. Something I'd never do, okay? They're trained for something. And that book is so far-fetched but it's so fun. Like, it's such a good time, you know what I mean? I don't know. I also just like, what does my mom call them? She like shoot em up movies? Like John Wick, 
you know, like things like that. So I think that this is just like a random brand of book that I enjoy and Cozy Mysteries have a branch off where they do that a lot. And if it's done well, it's really entertaining. If you like that, this is done well. It's very entertaining and I like that. But I also think that some people want their books more realistic. To me, I'm like, girl, I am a Barbie girl living in a fictional world. I don't want a single thought to enter that is realistic. I want to be far-fetched, like throw a dragon in there, you know, like let's just go full in. So anyways, really liked it. But what I'm looking at now is what book I want to put in place of this as my like nighttime reading book. And I also have another one from Fairy Loot that I got, which is, I posted on my Instagram to see what people thought if I should read it, but let's check. While I wait for it to load, I have The House in the Pines. This is barely 300 pages. And then I have The Villa. Rachel Hawkins' books are always so fast, and The Villa is also kind of giving, like, what is that vibe? What is that, White Lotus? White Lotus, I like that show until I don't like that show. I can never finish a season of it because I'm just like, mm, mm, mm. So I, I never finish it, but I still like the vibes and Jennifer Coolidge. So this looks like that. <laughs> I have no basis for that. I don't know if that's true. More than likely it's not. Um, the book I'm referring to is Cruel Illusions. And let's see if people say, oh dang. Okay, so one person said <laughs> it's mid. Another person said it's beautiful, which is true. Another person read an arc, gave it three and a half stars. I think someone else didn't like it. And then someone else told me I should read it so I can tell you off it's good. So I guess I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll put in the work. You know, like, because I'm just such a, such a giver, such a, such a saint, if you will. So I think actually what I'm really going to do, though, is read a chapter of each of them and see which one I'm in the mood for, because that one that I'm referring to, Cruel Illusions, is about vampires. Yeah, precisely. Exactly what I thought. And it's this girl whose parents got by vampires and now she's looking for them and she falls into like this underground world of them and it was related to Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Carvel. I'm like, pray tell. So yeah, I'm gonna try out a chapter of each. We'll see where we get. I'll probably update you in the morning because honestly, I'm ready to take these earrings out, put this hair fully up and get ready for bed. I'm already ready for bed. It's been, like I said, the day has occurred, let me tell you. <laughs> it has. Oh my god. Okay. Well, this is a look. <laughs> for sure. I, I don't know. I think that maybe we'll just update every day at this couch. This couch, I was just saying in my other vlog, but this couch is my comfort zone. I love this couch. I don't want to ever leave it. I get in these moods where I'm like, I only want to read in my office, like in that chair, or I only want to read on the couch, or I only want to read in bed. Now we're in the couch phase. So I have my asthma on the TV, and let me check out my books. So I did start The Villa by Rachel Hawkins. I got to chapter five and on page 73. And let me tell you about this book. I did not realize it's dual timeline. So there's this villa in Italy. The people who were going to the villa in Italy in like 2023 are two besties and they've been best friends since they were kids, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. One of them is like a Rachel Hollis self-help kind of girl. That's what she writes. They're both authors. She writes self-help very much like Rachel Hollis, like wash your face, girl. <laughs> okay. And then the other one writes Cozy Mysteries. So we already know who I'm rooting for. I don't know if they're gonna like kill each other, but we already know who I'm rooting for. And then in, there's another timeline in the 70s because apparently some gruesome, crazy murder happened at this villa. And it was when a group of like rock star types went to it. So, you know, very, very stereotypical 70s stories I feel like just the stuff that we hear but this timeline sounds like like the characters in it remind me of if Daisy and honestly it's fitting that I don't know his name but from Daisy Jones and the Six if Daisy and that man 
actually got together is what it, they sound like in here. And then also like this girl's little sister is, is being weird about that. I don't even know. Her younger sister is weird. Anyway, so it's the two timelines, one in the 70s, one in the 20s. 2020s. Ugh, they've sucked. Maybe it's just a 20s thing. Do you think the 1820s were bad too? When was the Black Plague? <laughs> That's like the 60s. Anyways, this is fine. It's a little moment. Um, it is very fast paced and entertaining. I like the writing style. I like Rachel Hawkins writing style a lot. It's very, it's very uh, fast paced and very readable. So I'm enjoying it. Yes. Then I picked up Cruel Illusions last night. Look at this book. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? So yeah, I picked this up, started reading it. I really think like what I'm gonna do is try to make my TBRs fit my mood as best as I can this year. And then when I get my fairy loot, Illumicrate and Goldsboro science fiction fantasy book of the month, I'm gonna try to read them. And like, those will be my wild cards on my TBR of like any of these books throughout the year, you can just pick up and read on a whim, but try not to read off your TBR as best you can. Pep talk to me from me. Got it, punk. So anyways, <laughs> I'm just really not feeling Once Upon a Broken Heart right now. Not because it's not good, but it's just set in a different world. And I want that, but I'm like not quite there yet. Cause I've been really reading a lot of like realistic fiction lately. So I want to read, first of all, thriller always on hand, but then I want to read fantasy that's in our world to kind of bridge me over to reading fantasy set in another world because what I really want to do is read Once Upon a Broken Heart and then read the Cruel Prince trilogy and then read The Stolen Air. Like that's kind of what I'm looking at currently. So yeah, anyways, I am gonna go continue reading. And that's it. That's all I have for you, so. Nice, nice. What is going on here? Oh, it's the gun show. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Mythical morning, how are you guys doing today? I'm mad at this book, okay? Let me tell you why. Our Rachel Hollis character, I just wanna, mm. Also, is there a demon or is there not a demon in this book? I need, I need some demony. I was hoping I that- I found this on the web. Thank you, I'll look at that later. But I want, I just want, I don't know, some action. I am chapter nine, page 167, and not a diddly dang thing has happened. Honestly, I really like the present time chapters. I do not enjoy the past chapters at all. They're boring. I don't like them. They don't add anything to this. They're not very good. So I wish they weren't here. I find myself skimming them. Yes, I do like the, there was like a podcast clip that was involved and then they also showed some emails, which is why I hate Rachel Hollis in this book. Don't come for me legally. I don't know who you really actually are. I don't think anyone does, allegedly. But I just, listen, I, I don't like it. I don't like it, but I like it. Like I like the present time one. The present time one, I give four stars. The past one, I'm not even reading it. <laughs> I'm skimming it. So that technically like, I didn't miss anything, right? But also maybe it makes it more of a mystery in the present time if I don't know what I'm supposed to know in the past. That's how you read books, right? Choose your own adventure. Anyways, I'm gonna try to finish this and I'm gonna put on an asthma room and you do the things I always do. It's 7 a.m. I can't do words though, <laughs> ever. Okay, hi guys. So I finished the villa, it's two hours later. And um, I guess I'm gonna give it like 2.75, three stars. Very, very low three stars, like a 2.75 basically. Because this was like, I don't know. It was interesting, I liked the atmosphere. I thought it was like a good idea and I enjoyed it at first and I like Rachel Hawkins writing. So I'll always get her books and I will always read them because I love her writing style, but it just wasn't, I don't know. It honestly wasn't that great. I think that the ending was, um, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like the ending could have been clever, but it, it doesn't feel like it was actually clever. It feels like it just 
she thought it was clever. And not in a mean or shady way, because I do think that it could have been, but the way that it was done was just like, okay, I guess what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I just think that there is, in thrillers, there's like a way that things can either be cliche or clever. And I think it's like a very thin line to toe, and I think that this, it fell more into the cliche than it did the clever category, just of like how it was done, how it was handled and what led up to it and what happened afterwards because it was just like i don't know it also felt like with the very last chapter all these things happened they were solidified we watched it played out and then it was like or did it and i'm like okay for real yeah i didn't like the past storyline at all i didn't think it was interesting i thought it was like Honestly, I think it bogged it down. I think it would have been far more interesting if it had been told through articles or research papers or if she had found information while staying at the villa. But I don't think having another point of view was a good idea. I think it bogged down the book more than anything. And, yeah, that's kind of it. I, like, on the American grading scale, I'd give it a 60. Like, it didn't, it didn't quite meet the expectations. It technically did everything it needed to do, but not well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I would not suggest it. And if you do want to read it, I, well, I would suggest it during summertime. Grab it from your library. I would not personally go out and pay $28.99. Well, I mean, I did. I literally, I literally did do that. But I would not suggest that you do it. There you go. And it sucks because Deanna Rayborn is one who blurbed on the back. Girl. Girl, what? Go read Killers of a Certain Age instead and watch Red. Those, it's a great pairing of movie and show. Movie and show? Movie and book. How, how about I figure out my words? Anywho, I'm going to go grab from bedroom. What is it? It's on my bedside table. Cruel Illusions. So I'm going to update my other vlog right now and then I'm going to go grab that. And then I'm just going to read and attempt to trill today um until we go see megan tonight i'm very excited about that i think it's gonna be i think i think for, it's gonna be great i think it's gonna be fantastic do we think it's gonna be good well that's not really the question is it i just think it's gonna be fantastic <laughs> hi guys you're probably wondering like oh my god olivia how much did you get read since i last talked to you um not a thing took a nap got a treadmill little walking pad organized my desk and now i'm gonna show you and i walked five miles all of which I was on FaceTime. I did not read anything. But before the movie, I'm gonna try to read some. But first, I just wanna show you. Look at it. Ah, oh, yeah. That is cleaner than it was. I don't like it though. And then here's my desk. Isn't it so cool? Now watch. Same, I'm sitting down. My stepmom got me this. Isn't that cute? Same, I'm sitting down. I'm like, oh my god. I want to walk. I would just go right here. Josh Groban's You Raise Me Up just came to mind. And look at it. Now it's a standing desk. That is ugly. But that's fine because I'm walking and I can't see it. <laughs> so yeah, I just tried this out. I walked five miles and was on here. And it was fantastic. And now I'm going to try to read some more of this book. And you know, organize my computer. This thing's here too. But here's this boy. Look at him. Jake, of course. Jake that won't eat his dinner. Even though he was whining for it. Now that he has it. Oh, Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Hello everybody So um, it is about two o'clock. So I'm making a little smoothie and then I'm going to get on the walking pad and edit my video for Sunday, which is best books of 2022. But just wanted to update you because I've read a little bit more of Cruel Illusions. This one. 
I'm liking it. It's intriguing, but I don't know a whole lot about it. I'm not even 100 pages in yet, but I feel like a lot has happened, and I don't know if I like how it's happening. It's just very, like, it feels very disjointed, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to continue on after I finish editing and get all of that done and uploaded, but I finished the thumbnail, so this should be, like, the easy part. Also, I got my Chamberlain coffee in the mail, but mainly, look at this, y'all. I am so excited to try these out. So this is the next espresso blend that I'm gonna use once these beans run out. So probably in half a week to a week. But it's so exciting. And this one just looks so good. It's a medium buttercream frosting vanilla. Now, I'm mainly excited for this one, but I do want to see if an espresso blend specifically tastes different. Because this one kind of does, but it wasn't my fave. Anyways, let's go. Oh my god, the smoothie is so thick. Okay, and let's, let's go. Let's go get to work. Hello, good morning, happy Sunday, everybody. Yep, it's another day. <laughs> um, I got to 25% of this one last night, but then I also started Swamp, Spooky Swamp, Spooky Swamp? I, I don't know. I started this one by Jana DeLeon, and it is the 13th book in the Misfortune series, Cozy Mystery series set in Louisiana, and it is about a CIA agent who goes undercover there to hide out because she got, like, exposed on a mission or whatever agents do that puts them in danger. And, uh, yeah, I'm about halfway through this one because I just sat down and I was like, I want to read a cozy mystery. I know it's not on my TBR, but it's on my heart. So... It's cute. It's all set during Halloween. It's really funny because this is like, <laughs> so it's set in sinful Louisiana and that's literally, I don't think a place. Although I wouldn't put it past somewhere in the South <laughs> to be named that. And of course they're super religious because it is the South and um, like in the most hypocritical way that you could be though. And it's so funny because they have Halloween for a week instead of just one day. When I remember when I was in school, there were some parents that literally, I found this on the web. Stop. There were some parents that would literally like protest Halloween. Like you couldn't acknowledge it at all. It was, it was a lot, but um, this is really cute and I'm liking it. And we're getting some brunch right now. I ordered some breakfast tacos and yeah, I'm gonna read and that's it because I need the escapism today. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Hi guys! Welcome to the end of the vlog. I know, look at me remembering to end a vlog. My battery though is dying, so that's pretty on brand but yeah so this was a chaotic week it wasn't a great week <laughs> so uh you know proud of myself for even just remembering that books exist and i needed to read some of them but hopefully next week will be better here's hoping uh thanks once again to green chef for sponsoring today's video make sure you check them out down below and the emoji for today will be a blue heart and uh yeah that's all i got for you so thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a wonderful morning afternoon or night wherever you are i'll catch you in the comments down below and in my next video bye <laughs>